Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Fant I'm not Jimmy Fantastic. Jimmy Ventura and with me is Table Leg Wanger and Elk Meme. Hello. Hello there. How are you doing? Fantastic, thanks. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what a lovely voice you have, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina, is it? Could North be. Carolina. Yeah, Charlotte, NC. We have a crowd today, a massive crowd, fully packed, jam packed, <laughs> jelly packed. Tro if you're an chocolate American, chocolate pack, pa chocolate pack, perhaps if 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 Jimmy is is a uh, Czech chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Croatian, Croatian chocolate. Oh, Croatian chocolate. <laughs> so somehow. <laughs> We are in Charlotte, and we didn't even need to buy a dinner. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, God, Chimp, that's not very nice. <laughs> so there you go. The first match is the Wemdorp Open Challenge. It is physics versus whoever in the back is going to come out and challenge him. So there you go. Who's it going to be? It could be literally anybody. Are you going to have yeah. a run out there, Elp? Are you going to have a run out there? Um, no, actually, no. No, still, doctor's order's still off at the moment. Um, oh, 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 oh. Obviously, he did come back for that one match where I beat Gorilla. Um, but that was just fighting a civilian, really. <laughs> Is this all part of your plan to build resistances? <laughs> it could well be. Resistance to slaps. Oh, this is Firstborn's music. There he is. The Canadian from Georgia. We were talking about it before, but that is the large truncheon. <laughs> it sure is. You wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like that up here. Up your... Depends on your perspective, your I guess. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see him fight a giant size, like marshmallow man sized Skuro. Do you mean like the Michelin man, or...? <laughs> Huge. Huge. But not jacked, just fat. <laughs> yes, just of a course. more American yeah. version got, of Skewer. Yeah, 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 like <laughs> hyper American. Yeah. Is today the anti Yank broadcast? No, we'll never have an anti Yank broadcast. No. They are our good friends, special relationship, lovely Yanks. Yeah, it is a battle of the probing sticks, absolutely, HDK, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one is longer. It is, and it can go deeper as well. You notice on the truncheon it's got that out sticking part. You can do some fancy moves of it, but it does limit your access, like how deep you can get it. This one, no problem with that. However, it is flanged at the top. You might notice at the top there's a little knob that sort of juts out. So harder to get the access in the first place. Great. Physics will find a way. <laughs> yes, both senses of the word. <laughs> Incredible. God bless America, indeed. They're the best. Please don't ban us, Twitch. <laughs> we should play the uh, national anthem before we start. We probably should, yeah, we probably should. Yep. Get a fly to be off fair, the jets. To be fair, their national anthem is way better than ours is. It is loads better, yeah. You can really get well, behind we, it, you're like, this is a jam. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> exactly, Bezel, yes. yes. Well, we, we don't have a designated national anthem, but God save the Queen really gets my fucking rod solid. <laughs> Royal Britannia's pretty good as well. That one's decent. It is. Yeah, yeah Royal Britannia's great. That's what it should be, the national anthem, isn't it? Land of Hope and Glory is pretty sick as well. Got to change a few of the words, though. Yeah, maybe. I have a feeling God Save the King will be released again soon, Chimp. <laughs> Not, I don't have any inside knowledge, you know, just being British doesn't grant me such access as many Americans would like to think. Um, I don't know the Queen personally. Wow, disappointing. Are you, are you sure? Tell a lie. It was tea and scones uh, <laughs> yes. weeks back. 
<laughs> on monthly, the obligatory monthly meeting. Well, Liz. Yeah, I was going to yep. say we even well, need, we even know we're in the north, so you've got to. <laughs> in the fucking barren north, we see her occasionally. We only acknowledge her as queen because, of course, Lord Bean does not take a queen usually. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bean is the king in the north, isn't he? Indeed, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's got the key to the north. <laughs> so, same with Mr. Greg. <laughs> was it was it like the Greg's, Greg family or something? How did that mm. develop? It was a dude called Greg. Greg's. I think I don't know oh. if his surname was like just Greg, yeah. And then that was. Uh, that was his name was Greg Greg's? <laughs> no, no. Greg was his John surname. John Greg. John Greg. <laughs> John Greg, there you go. When did he found it? Fuck me, a few quite, years ago. Yeah, quite recently, overall, I think. Is this old calcium in the ring? Yeah, it looks like him, doesn't he? He's actually Canadian. Um, oh. but, but yeah, that's why he's like got a bit of the Mountie thing going on there. You see ah, the so he Looks like he's been in the dojo. He does, doesn't does he? he? Yeah, he's very similar to Calcium with the black and the does yellow he, and the beanie. Does he perform the best Canadian move, the Canadian Destroyer? I don't know. Probably not. That is. Ooh, love this angle. <laughs> Hold the keep there, yeah. Neville, Neville, obviously Gary and Phil Neville's pair dad there. Yeah. Greatest name ever. It is one of them. Yeah. Neville, Neville. <laughs> Greg Weatherspoon. Oh man. <laughs> Greg Weatherspoon. That'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, firstborn is yeah Canadian football streamer. Um, oh. Not related to calcium, but does look quite like him, <laughs> and, and does dress similarly to him, so it's understandable to make that connection. A more sturdy boot, I've noticed. Obviously for the Canadian weathers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> He's just playing at being a cowboy, isn't he? Mm. Oh wow, look at that. That was an amazingly technical move there from the professor of physics. We're going for the one count, and it's not a two count, just a one count. <laughs> Incredible maneuver. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, been manner off off limits to people who have attempted to murder Yorkshireman. I'm afraid. <laughs> it's true. And it doesn't matter how much Yorkshire tea you buy, <laughs> or Seabrook's crisps. <laughs> Seabrook's crisps are. Absolutely banging. They are fucking incredible, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hell. Top flavour. Everybody uh, so pick a flavour. Wait a minute, a wait flavor. a minute, Wang out. Are you setting up a crisp World Cup here? Oh no, I'm definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, because Purple Chess was talking about it earlier. <laughs> no, i like I I think that's just utter folly. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got their southern dictionary out today. <laughs> I'm I'm very articulate fellow. Good man. Yeah. Jimmy isn't. No, I'm not. I just like to say <laughs> swear words. <laughs> but it makes for a very it, your soundboard must be a lot better than mine though. <laughs> well, I had, to, I had to ban a lot of them because of this whole yeah, you YouTube lost. thing. Lost about fifty percent of his soundboard, sadly. Re really sad. Fifty percent of my vocabulary as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Now you're just left with yep. <laughs> yeah. Jack. I, I heard you. <laughs> I heard you have a little outburst earlier with the C nut. Really? Oh yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, I didn't think I'd said it. I thought I'd just said the F word. No. You dropped a few C's in a in a very short amount of time and. Sounded like they were justified. They to be were fair, justified because the game's shit. The amount of times you've dropped the C nut lately, it, it, it's a good job that uh, Pepper Biscuits give you more than YouTube ever has. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Well, this is the thing though, you can't be affording to be losing your sort of social media presence, what of the encroaching brand of chocolate. <laughs> that's a great you drop the fact. Jimmy Fantastic YouTube and you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you need to keep that going. That's very true. 
But there is a match happening here. It's pretty even so far. A bit of back and forth. A bit more back and forth. Yes. Referee fiddling with his buckle there. Well, someone removed it there, and it's referee trying to keep order. <laughs> yeah. Order! <laughs> I really didn't like that the uh, the speaker is now a northerner. I know it's it's, it's awful. Burkrow was great. He was. He was. Yeah. When yeah. look at this, this could be the green apple, maybe. Oh, the green apple. <laughs> nope, the brain worms. Way there oh. it is. There it is, and uh, he must have him here, surely. He Got him. Does. Physics retains. What a maneuver. Yeah, that's first total defence, isn't it? And the bounce has been back and forth since uh, Jim lost it at um, WrestleMania. Yep, that's true. Well, physics making a name for himself here. Yes, look at that oiled up, glistening in the sun. <laughs> yeah, the reason he's oiled up is it means he travels through air faster. So obviously, you want to reach terminal. Every every everything has terminal velocity. It can go no faster when falling according to gravity. Uh, physics obviously knows this, so the oil, what it does is it allows him to reach that speed faster on the uh, downward descent part of his, um, the green apple. <laughs> right. So, so he reaches terminal velocity in the green apple? In he that does. short distance, that is very yeah. impressive. Well, that's, that's the benefits of Johnson's Baby or other brands <laughs> are available, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, why would you choose another brand if those are the benefits? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, you know, but not sponsored. Um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next up, we've got the unnatural snackers taking on North and South in glorious tag team action. And that sounds like a, a, a fighting talk from Unseen Walker there. I don't know if I don't know if he thinks he's got what it takes to take on uh, physics, but. Um... He may be found wanting if he tries, I tell you. Physics is is quite the champion. Here we have our core commentator from Friday Night Stanford. Yes, yeah, Ansi dipped his toes in, in commentary on Friday very successfully, I think. Yeah, very much so. I enjoyed having him on. Glorious. Obviously, I was the uh, doctor's appointment. There you go. But it's... Yep. Uh, it's good, isn't it? It'll do in a pinch. It'll yeah. do in a pinch, really. <laughs> it's good having a few options, isn't it? It is. You're supposed to have Flicky in the booth soon, aren't you? Hopefully, yeah, that would be ideal. A JBG, I think, is going to be on Friday. Oh, nice. Whoa, wow. Another day. I know a lot of guest appearances. Up, really, this GFW stars are coming out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're in for Friday, Jay. So we're not going to talk over this entrance. The glorious entrance. <laughs> J5, the world champ. Oh, 7th of May. Oh, okay. Next Friday is what I heard, mate. I've already booked the night off now. <laughs> Sata will throw out cereal to the crowd, but he will not share any of his various craft beers. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Under any circumstances. You'll have to prize them from his cold, dead hands. <laughs> he will explain them in great detail, but he will not share. <laughs> Apart from Jim Con, where he's very generous and lovely fellow, of course. But, of course. But in the in the confines of a wrestling ring. No fucking chance. <laughs> of course. <laughs> they are pancakes, yeah. <laughs> Hell of an entrance. <laughs> Francesca 2 there. The trumpet. Oh. And speaking of entrances, <laughs> look at these guys. <laughs> Fuck about. So good. Got off a stop too early on his <laughs> way to the football match. Made a friend for life in disguise to dance. Oh, the great sponsorship on the side is nice. That's a good, good touch. This is forty percent of the powerhouse five-a-side team. <laughs> Absolutely. As long as you don't call fouls. You fucking what, ref? <laughs> I'll carve you up. 
you car not. You can just see the chemistry they have together. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We all know the snackers have had their problems in the past. Look at these guys, they're just out to party. They are. A couple of lines in. Ready to fucking go. Yeah, got that buzz on. <laughs> and he only feel like he's in Cut out there. Yeah, he did cut out there one, yeah. Oh sorry, I was just saying Ancy already feeling like he's invincible after it, that little buzz that he's got on him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. God, yeah, DDR is a hell of an entrance, that's true. That is very true, Duffy. Oh. And this is a bit like a big man, little man uh, challenge, isn't it? Here we've got the big guys, Satterfield and De Scotty, and the smaller guys, Muppet and Ansi. Both plimplom plus awaits. Former champs, in fact, aren't they? Ansi and Muppet, both of them. Yeah. And you can see that De Scotty starting the way that Sata usually starts with a kick to the face. Yeah. Impressive start from De Scotty. He's That's obviously good. fired up. He is. We've got to see which one of these bastards gets gassed first, though. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I think they're both already gassed. Yeah. They yeah. were some pretty intense entrances, weren't they? Very intense entrances. <laughs> Brainworm flavor. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, sat gas first. <laughs> Brings in the little dynamo muppet. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh that did not work. Going maybe a little dynamo muppet. Oh, it can go. You sure can. The Scotty, the Scotty dropping the dropping the wanker there. <laughs> he did, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very true, Lemon. If they were wearing thirty pounds of gear to come out, they would be they would be getting beaten very quickly. <laughs> Basically, no chance to win if you wear thirty pounds of gear for the engine. That's very true. Muppet is getting beaten here. Oh, but he, he he gets the boot up. Bit of a counter. Maybe he's a bit of a fight back. Yeah, we're swinging momentum here. Just got a bit stand gas. Yeah, an equity shift, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> You could say. <laughs> it's the snake nice. attack. Not good enough though, just got to pull on himself out of it. You're seeing the strength for the big guy then, how he just yanks Muppet off. <laughs> <laughs> the ref! The ref down again. It's going to be another long night for the referees of the GFW. Yeah, oh god, look at that package power driver. Brutal. This could be it. Instant win. Not on Muppet. No. Too much resilience on the little guy. Muppet is. Muppet is a, he's just so tough, isn't he? He, he really is. Lending a bit of truth to the uh, age old fight club truism at Skinny Guys Fight to Let Burger. <laughs> Bigger they no, are, no. harder they fall. He's very small, so he <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fall very hard. Now, tough isn't the word I'd use for anti, but he is survivable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, oh that's a concussion. <laughs> yep. Oh God. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, he's but he's straight back up. That's the thing, isn't it? He's like a fucking cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh god, look at this, this is just brutal. Oh. Sat is on a roll here. So, um, what energy drink do you think the Scotty favours? <laughs> I think he's a rock star man. Yeah? I yeah, do. I, it. Is it the I star can... on the back that's telling you that or it's the ninety nine P label. I think <laughs> one pound <laughs> Yeah, that's I, it. 
I think that a one pound forty monster is that it's completely out of the question. Yeah, no, I can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, yeah, that's enough. You've sold me. <laughs> Not quite happy shopper, but no, you know. no, no, no. But yeah, close enough. Near enough as to be the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big DDT. Oh, Blue Nightling Sainsbury's, isn't it? I don't know what this one's called. Don't shop at Asda, it's a shop. Blue Bolt, maybe. Yeah, Blue Yeah, blue Bolt. No, maybe that's the Sainsbury's one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fucking Google it. Let me just find this out. <laughs> Sainsbury's. Answering the uh, big questions, guys. <laughs> blue. Yeah, I could be out of. Could be wrong here. Your, your broadcast team here are here to serve. <laughs> yeah. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> it is Blue Bolt at Sainsbury, so I apologise to Sky. Not the Sky. Um, no surprise in HTK there. The Incel's favourite energy drink. <laughs> yeah. You can get them at home bargains, two for a pound. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Other options are available. <laughs> Other options are available. <laughs> <laughs> it is called Blue Charge at Asda. Blue Charge. Ah, Blue Charge. Mm. Great move from Muppet there. It looked like Ansi was winning, started winning with some kicks, but then uh, Muppet coming back there with a flurry and then just staring at Ansi on the ground. Staring him out. <laughs> Blue spark at Tesco. Oh, he was waiting oh, for the 619, God. that's why. Boosh. <laughs> that's amazing, he's got the hoverboard as well. JBG, when I laugh, it's just things happen. I, I, I have no control of it. Sometimes I laugh so hard that I possibly could die. <laughs> and now Muppets again just waiting watching and waiting yeah. for the perfect opportunity it's... yeah some say he's got brain worms and he's waiting for the opportunity to get punched square in the fucking face <laughs> not on this occasion JPG <laughs> He still kicks out though. He does, yeah, lots of resilience as he spoke about earlier on. He's so tough. Ansi's shots are so short. <laughs> yeah, Not good short on. enough if you ask I've me. Only <laughs> well, well, that's a that's a personal <laughs> preference thing. But I've only just realised how short they are. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you know, not really short, sorry, it's his t shirt. Yeah, the, the, the yeah, his top makes them look shorter. Which is a nice uh, effect. Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh. The Scotty going for Santa actually rocked uh, Ansi there, didn't it? And it looked like Santa suplexed uh, the Scotty onto Muppet there. Yeah, but a huge miss from Santa there. He nearly knocked, he nearly knocked Ansi Spark out. But missed with that huge kick. A half crab! Oh boy! Devastating! The We've, seen this end. We've seen this end matches! <laughs> We've seen it win the EAB Championship before, in fact. <laughs> Not the right time for Anty to have a nap there. He was trying to get cocky in the corner, trying to oh, say, God, bring it on. Oh, God, he's just getting ruined. Oh, oh dear. J5 not getting involved. He's just, he's just, you know, standing be directly behind him. Yeah, just mind his own business. Huh? Not like GA5 to mind his own business. <laughs> oh man, this is quite the run by Muppet. It is. Also, this week it seems the Snackers are a little bit more on the same page as than they were last week. When there was a little bit of dissension and uh, Sata refusing to tag in. Yeah, good point, good point. Was this on the Friday show? Yeah. 
Maybe someone in the YouTube comments can help us out. What show was that on? <laughs> I can tell Friday you I've got more written down here. Look at me. Look at me being Don't organized. ruin YouTube as fun. Everyone pick a show. <laughs> Everyone oh, pick a look at that diving knee slapped aside by Antsy. I must have been on a on a uh, different match, like a stream match. Uh, oh, what Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday, not on the YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube's, get yourself on a Twitch on the Wednesday. <laughs> And remember, live at Twitch is the only place you'll see the pre-show wank. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We had a, a we had a spiffing wank today. <laughs> true, true. And he also also we felt we streamed pre-show wank. Um, <laughs> and also for you Marvel fanatics, look at count out. Oh wow! For oh, Ansi, it did not work for Ansi. Ansi took it to the outside. Yeah, he woke up a little bit outside, didn't he? Getting into the brawl yeah. out near the crowd. But, and yeah. then just took it too far. Oh, dear. Wow. Plan backfired for Antti. Possibly that concussion. <laughs> this is quite the losing streak for North and South now. <laughs> but quite possibly come. about to fade into obscurity. Yes, quite possibly. But they do have the one of the best entrances of the GFW, so I've got a feeling they might stick around. <laughs> Against the odds. Go on, blow on that, mate. <laughs> Give out a good old blow, would you? It's <laughs> a lot of gyration going on. Absolutely. There it is. Nesquik at the back. <laughs> Amazing. What a team. And uh, what a match we've got coming up next. Squirrel Dude versus Goliath. Absolutely incredible. Last week, Goliath beat Night Demon and Squirrel beat Rick Reckless. So, Un yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable performances from both. Huge upsets. Yeah. So now we're going to see what goes down between these two titans of the ring. I mean, you, after those upsets last week, they want to get themselves on a roll, get themselves into a picture for possibly making a run for a title. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was a three-way. It was a three-way. But um, <laughs> it's quite clear when you see the instant replay. Right, here we go. That was a reference so subtle, nobody got it. <laughs> Remember, lowest common denominator always. <laughs> yep. And we are, of course, in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, baby. What an entrance. Glory. Snappy blazer, very snappy blazer. Yeah, he's he's quite a he's he's a sharp dressed man, isn't he? Everybody pick a squirrel! <laughs> Good point, Mrs. Wanger. Every, everybody pick a furry. <laughs> yeah. Obviously Elf would choose feathered. <laughs> yeah, not furry, yes, feathers. Very birds do have fur when they're young, don't they? They do. Huh. Mm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Elp is having an existential crisis right now. Yep. <laughs> oh, Fuck. Obviously, this this kind of attire, the blazer and trilby option, 
very popular in universities in the, in the early 2000s. <laughs> Hasn't quite moved with the times, but there you go. <laughs> and what's the scroll called in in uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? Uh, Sandy Cheeks. There you go, there's mine. Sandy Cheeks! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sandy Cheeks. That's amazing! <laughs> Yep. It's amazing how they do things like that, don't they, in fucking cartoons. True, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of amazing things. Whoa. Okay. Amazing how we, can, how we can fit all of that into that singlet. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It looks like it's all ready to burst all at once. <laughs> oh, you, you must incredibly hot to imagine the tan lines. Utterly <laughs> spring loaded. <laughs> yep. Whoa. <laughs> Single uh, of the <laughs> plus four spell turning. Of course, you got the uh, double knee braces there for Goliath. Obvious reasons. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's a nice looking heart. Oh, thank you very much. That's Goliath's mode. You, you go, made that one. Really? Yeah, if you, go, if you go to his page, you can see all of his emotes. Uh, he's got loads of them, and they were all made by me. Oh, well. There you go. You should make me some. Absolutely. You should make me loads of things so I don't have to do them. Yeah, that's not not a problem. <laughs> oh baby, what what an entrance! It is. It is epic. Then. Good night, demon. Thank you very much for all the help with JFWs over the over the years. Now this is episode fifty-three. This is officially um, over a year we've had the uh, JFW shows. Amazing Crazy, stuff. Yeah. Yep. Here's a tremendous achievement. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Last lasted That's longer good. now than some independent promotions. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, wow, look at this ferocious. Oh, oh he's been tangled. <laughs> I thought he was fixing and squash him there with a few with a combination move and then go for the belly to belly. Thankfully, Squire bumped the brakes there. Yep. Yeah, could have maybe done something, JBG. But then we just had Mania, didn't we? So, like, that kind of. That kind of concluded it well for the year anyway, it was more or less a year at that point. Goliath's back hair really needs to be fixed, it just looks like a long skid mark. <laughs> I think it looks fine. Well, I hopefully we'll get a bit of hard cam action at the moment. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> are you... Are you do you not favour favour the the hair? Elf. No, it's fine. It's just all congregated in, you know, as, as though it's, it's many, one long skid mark. Many more years of this fantastic it's show. Just, it's just a varied density. Yeah. yeah. Common in a man of his age. <laughs> Thank you very very much, Night Demon, for the bits. Absolutely glorious. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, man. Hopefully, we'll keep it going. You know. Uh, like, it's crazy. Like, I've been fucking doing this shit since 2000. Probably before then, right? Maybe it's even 98. I don't know when the first came out. It's crazy, isn't it? But Wanger knows. Wanger remembers the, 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 the No Mercy and stuff that I made. All these crazy well, yeah. characters. Worst game of all time. <laughs> yeah, the ball shots. <laughs> yeah, unbeatable ball shots. Oh, God, it was horrible. It was absolutely terrible. Yeah, as much as I enjoyed doing it, it was terrible. Yeah. 
unplayable game. Here comes the pain was was set was the most perfect game of its of its era. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, you definitely had a had a custom roster even back then. Yeah. yeah. In some situations, even wilder characters than you see in the GFW. <laughs> Just a little insight for you as all of it. A few of the characters, I'll give you a few names of the characters. Solid Steve Trouser. <laughs> yeah. Helen Forearms. <laughs> yeah. um, who else did we have? Dr. Magnera. Oh man, Dr. Magnera, that was amazing. Tr Trevor Death. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just a, just a quite a few. It was, it was It was great times. That was maybe 18 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time ago. And now this is the evolution of it all. Yeah. Jimmy's twisted brainchild, <laughs> fermented, fermented in his mind for this long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear me! Oh, wow. Bring them back, yeah. I mean, if if the game could support extra characters, I'm sure Trevor Death would be on there. Yeah, for sure. Like, imagine if in tw in in the next one twenty two, you just like have yeah. two hundred characters or whatever. Yeah. It'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Trevor could possibly be one that, to rival EAB. Absolutely. Oof. That was uh, that was big. That was Squirrel's finisher there. The sit out last ride, but Goliath managed to power out. It takes a lot to wear this guy down. Absolutely. Look at the fucking size it of does. him. <laughs> Oh. oh, they might have knocked him out there. He, he crumbled. A lovely pele kick. Yeah. Oh. Going to pick him up. Can't do it. Oh. Big boot. Love a big Level boot. the playing field. Glass got up top. To level squirrel. Turning him into roadkill. <laughs> Calls the shot. Oh. <laughs> Fucking brutal. Working the small of the back there. Oh, he's Not doing the kisses. earthquake splash. Whoosh. Oh. <laughs> Wrecked asshole. <laughs> right on his chest. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> little stumble there from Goliath gives Squirrel Dude a, a moment. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Wrecked on the asshole. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very, God. very much so insane. Very much so. Oh, he has, yeah. Goliath has been on a tear. Last time he lost, it was to yours truly at WrestleMania. It was in a, in a it, match of the night, wasn't it? Maybe the weekend. It took me a long time to put that guy down. Yeah. It was like three or four switching music, wasn't it? It was, it was. It was. Unbelievable. And yeah, Ducky Goliath's thighs are as thick as a squirrel's torso. It's Goliath is as big as a man can be in uh, in 2K19. Apart from height, he is only six foot eleven. <laughs> he is not as tall as uh, as EAB or Crusher. He's the biggest oh. man in the JFW. Hello, Ansi. You missed a bit of north and south earlier, Auntie. It was it was great stuff. <laughs> you got concussed. <laughs> it was brutal. <laughs> this is this is brutal, isn't it? Goliath has taken over. Oh well, just as I say that. Just the commentator. Yeah. Oh God, look at this. It's all these. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the big boot again, though. Takes a breather. <laughs> oh, another pin here. Still not enough to put him away. He's getting closer, though. Edging closer and closer. <laughs> Good Actually, he can hold edge. him off no more. <laughs> Such that chin lock in there? Crowd erupt. <laughs> With joy. 
Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, lovely. The agility of a squirrel dude there coming into play. Yep, and now he's looking to put him away. Oh. Well, the last right. Look at it, getting this guy up. Holy shit. Incredible. Could that be it? <laughs> no. Nope. Wow. Squirrel dude, have going to have to dig deep to put him away. Yeah. Does he have it in himself? <laughs> Turn him inside out with that one, Goliath. Lovely shot and close line. Oh, here he goes. Uh oh. Oh shit! <laughs> a oh, massive choke slam. Huge elevation. Oh, oh! I thought that was it. I saw it. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Glove going back up to the top. Oh, what's this? It's getting Calls started. it again. Oh, I'm not sure he got all of that. No. So he's going for it again. Oh, boy. Oh, oh shit. Wow, oh. just completely no soul by Squirrel. No soul. Launch the outside. Doesn't even take a breather. Goes straight on the attack. Incredible. Hello there, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Unbelievable, Jeff. Turnabout is fair play. Squirrel up top. Whoa! Oh. Stash it pin. What a maneuver that was. And <laughs> he just fails to grapple. <laughs> oh, man. Squirrel really showing his agility and power in this uh, this match. Yeah, he's got a lot of power, hasn't he? He doesn't he doesn't look like he's not the biggest guy, but the the, the moves he pulls off are quite something. He's got him. He's got him. <sighs> Unbelievable. Holy Incredible shit. performance here from Squirrel. Well, Love yeah. to see it. Flip me, guys! Indeed, that was. You know, <laughs> Squirrel's shocked the world, hasn't he? Back to back weeks, he's taken down Rick, now he's taken down Goliath. What's next for this lad? I mean, he's a vet of the JFW, he's been around a long time, but now he's he finally is. putting the wreck, he's putting this run together, finally. I mean, don't judge a book by its cover. Some people will think this is just Cody Rhodes in it with a squirrel nose, but he's so much more than that. He hasn't got a shit tattoo for one. Definitely. <laughs> Maybe he should. Maybe he should just have like a squirrel tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my dear idea. <laughs> Everybody pick a shit tattoo. Yeah. Right, oh, next up we've got a hot plim plum plus a wit. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that's a good point on scene. <laughs> um, hot plim plum plus a triple threat. It's not, it's not elimination or anything. The first pin will win the match. We've got ghoul face killer, le bread mask, and crispy ice. <laughs> pin up sandy cheeks, <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Like Sandy Cheeks, but it's Rosie the Riveter style. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, God, I mean, No regrets, yeah. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to just search for Rule 34 Sandy Cheeks and then I get an even better one. <laughs> oh, God, no. Jesus Christ. 
I did that. I did that for King K. Rule yesterday. It didn't. It didn't end well. <laughs> oh, there's an infamous one. Oh dear. Right. Well, I regret seeing it now. I did not know about that. I like how you know about <laughs> No, don't. Oh yeah, vote gore on Bezel's knuckles is fucking amazing. I love that. <laughs> What's the context of that? Um, because Bezel in chat wrote Vote Gore once for some reason, and I was like, for some reason I just thought it looked hilarious on his knuckles, and then... Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and it was, it just really tickled my fancy. <laughs> Speaking of tickling fancies, this guy, the bread mask, tickles my fancy. Oh, he's, he's a great wrestler, isn't he? He just, he just, he's got it all, hasn't he? The plim plum, the original plim plum blues away. Absolutely, <laughs> the OG. For sure. But the best thing since sliced bread, he is sliced bread. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Well, there you go. And Bessel was making a nut the tattoo joke. Okay. Well, there, there you go. I knew, I knew, I knew you'd said it. I knew you said it. That was the point. The point was Bessel had the credit. <laughs> Oh man, there's Jim. There's no Jim D. D anymore. I need to change. I need to get Jim D. D back. Oh, there is a there is a fucking national pinup day picture of Sandy Cheeks. Amazing. <laughs> wow. So yeah, we can totally have a Sandy Cheeks pinup tattoo for school, dude. Oh, fuck me. Then someone's actually got it as well, by the way. I mean, yeah, absolutely. If it can happen, it will happen. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. This is a this is a pretty this is a pretty bad tattoo to have. Um <laughs> Hello Cup. That's a pretty bad tattoo to have, isn't it? Especially it's if you're not, not like tap. a... <laughs> Especially if you're not a wrestler <laughs> in JFW. <laughs> For a real human to have that. <laughs> it's pretty bad, I think. Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Crispy Ice's entrance is pretty cool as well. I haven't seen him for a while, he's got a bit of wankers cramp there, he's trying to shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why a lot of our wrestlers choose to do it on the pre-show. <laughs> exactly. Risky entrance here. He's got to avoid landing on his swords <laughs> and impaling himself. <laughs> and indeed landed on his jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got all these spikes and everything. This is a very risky entrance, but he always manages to pull it off. <laughs> yeah, Crispy Ice did have that run where he just smashed everyone to pieces. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> the Brit Musk. <laughs> Ready to fight the others. Oh boy. Oh boy. Big hurricane runner. And some stomps. GFK was had had a great start as well, didn't he? JFW. He had a he had a great tenure as a Plim Plum Pluseweight champion. This move's crazy, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not the one I thought it was. <laughs> it's all right, though. <laughs> but that one, that one's real crazy. Yeah, not to take anything away from the wrestlers. Paco's chest tattoo needs to be changed. Who? Paco. It says Paco on his chest, right? The guy? It's a oh. face. Yeah. It's ghoul face killer. Okay. What does this chest tattoo say? Face. Face. Okay. 
I feel as though that could probably, I don't know, it just looks a bit questionable at times. <laughs> no. Hey, Paco looks the same as face, to be fair. Apart from completely from different distance. letters. No, yeah, but, you know, it looks... It does, it does have some similarities. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, we're seeing a prim blob cruiserweight match. Uh, Jimps McMahon, obviously, his most hated division. Yep. Yeah, allowing Ansi to wrestle despite not being fired, he just doesn't care about the blimp on cruisers. Do I have to, oh my god, what the fuck did Le Bread Mask do then? Were you about to say neither do I? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, they're always good matches though, aren't they? But I prefer the big beefy men. Here we go. Ooh. Spanish flag. Very impressive. <laughs> ah, there you go, Ansi revealing the secrets. Oh! oh crispy Ice gets his knees up. Bit of sweet shin music there from uh, <laughs> Le Bread Mask. Yeah. Oh, wow, incredible move from Crispy Ice. <laughs> oh! That's true, yes. Yeah, that's true, Cookie. Yeah, not, not, no, no, uh, no furries at all in this match. <laughs> Don't worry, the the furry quarter is uh, satisfied in the next one. No, he's calling for his finisher. Shades of uh, humorous chimp here. And look at this. Don't, Massive. Don't what that is. <laughs> the bread rascal. <laughs> I am extremely tired, I'm sorry. Turned into a second Gemini. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Massive. <laughs> so, yeah, I could drop some more of those. I'm really fucking tired. I mean, yep, I've played me six games of football and it doesn't sound much, but it's well, I've played nah, it five. Is, it is. But yeah, Crispy like ice thinking. wash match. Yeah. Wow. Easy I'm win against two guys. I have no idea who that wrestler is. It sparks no enthusiasm for me for this division, but good on him. Yeah. Got himself a W on the on the little stage. <laughs> yeah, he joined chat and he he said a few things and he got a wrestler made and then he left. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas for some people it takes two thousand bits. <laughs> <laughs> those those were simpler times. They <laughs> wanna. <laughs> yep, nice. But he's a bit different, isn't he? Like, he's a pretty cool character, I think. So he still gets a bit of a run out. But yeah, eventually, hopefully, we can. Uh, hopefully, we could replace him at some point with the, all the people on the waiting lists. Would be good, I guess. But until then, he's won another match. <laughs> yeah, um, good on him. Yep. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, Bezel. Like, that's a big part of getting made, is if it's easier to get made, <laughs> then you're more likely to get made. Here we are. We've got a couple of furries and a couple of rats. <laughs> I swear we had this match last week. We did not. We did not have this match last week. We had the rats. We Who did. We had, we had both of these teams. The rats beat Cock and Ball Torture, and the YPA beat Dance Dance Revolution. So Ooh, they both I see up. here, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bookers know what they're doing. There you go. Yeah. So um now they're facing off. Who's gonna who's gonna make an impact? <laughs> and yeah, Foxamania is very furry, isn't he? 
<laughs> JPG less so, but Foxamania particularly is is oh, very furry indeed. Incredibly furry, yeah. He looks uh he's really living that lockdown life. <laughs> it looks like he's bordering cultural appropriation with his beard. Oh, not really. He's 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 bordering Hulk Hogan appropriation. Yeah, I mean like inverted Hulk Hogan appropriation, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it for Yorkshire. Here we go. Here we go. Crowd still with us. <laughs> <laughs> and here are the fucking rats. <laughs> Has Finney had any success as a rat coach? Uh, no. <laughs> is this Chunter and Finney, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, some, got some moves, these guys. And look at the claws on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the basket get there. Yeah. Uh, Chunter, of course, has won CCL with uh, Skaven. Uh, Finney has won the odd game in Rebel. Finney has played right? Comparable, comparable, <laughs> and the skill level. Everybody pick a rat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I pick Chunter. Yeah. Yep. There's that lovely Dutch accent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Splint is a pretty strong choice, to be fair. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. It's a good one. Roland Rat. British. Great rat. Great Unfortunately, rat. there's only one rat I can pick, and that's the missus. Rat <laughs> from Wind of the Willows. That's a good one. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lottie? Is what, about, one rat uh, for me? what about Renny yeah. from Ratatouille? <laughs> you can't cook, you a rat. Yep, no other rats got the orders there. <laughs> Did you get yeah, me some fizzy right, bird of Nice one, thank you. <laughs> yeah, cocky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are there any plans for <laughs> Mrs. Wagonos for the police? Um, are there any plans for a furry Skuro alternate costume? Oh god, that's a Gorilla Metto, idea. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Turn him into a fucking gorilla. Out, Where did that out. name come from? Every every, every time I I ever got an opportunity to say so when I was I always used to say let's get Skuwu Metso. Mm. That's what you want. Yeah, you really like that. Skuwu, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> weeb. Well, no, we could make him like a proper proper furry weeb, like proper <laughs> kawaii desu well, thing. Yeah, you give him like a, a jumper or, or a shirt like uh, the snackers have got, but you put his waifu on there. <laughs> Comes out with a body pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Quite importantly, you could do that. Oh, you've got to do it and turn gorilla into an actual gorilla. I mean, Joy is technically just a walking body pillow. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, dear. Here's the quick tag, JBG and Foxamania. Yeah, you may not like it, but they're a well-oiled team. <laughs> yep. Sorry? I'll see you in a bit. They're not as old as Goliath or Fox yeah. Force, but they're well-oiled. Well, who is? <laughs> I, I, went to, I went to my local uh, market today and I uh, bought a dozen double yolker eggs. And I just thought of a boiled egg. Spared a I thought, for young oh, Fault Force. The only egg I've seen that's bigger or whiter than these eggs is Fault Force. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> now, now we'll chat again. It's yes, too early. Yeah. Yes. Oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dropping them in the dog. Yeah. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, did we not hear for that? Oh, that was amazing, man. Skuro, um, 
was like, you know, went away from the keyboard and didn't yeah. mute. And then there was like... <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was brilliant. <laughs> I mean, all rats are scum, right? You, you, you play a scaven, that's what you get. Absolutely. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. I do remember it now. Little blockbuster. Yeah, very angry stuff from JBG. Maybe you want to put this one away early. Absolutely, good cutter, instant. Oh, well, Fox, shouldn't it be there. Foxy yeah, and he's got to get in to protect us. No, not in in time. And in time to give him a little dig himself, though. Woo -hoo. Tosses him right off there. Are these are big feet to be stomped on by. They are, aren't they? The, those big feet, it, you know, devastating kind of. How you get your way through fat bugs, isn't it? <laughs> what? Have you not seen a fat bug? <laughs> no. I don't know what you're talking about. It's what? a big thing that happened in one of the London sewers. Oh, oh right. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it clogs. Yeah. Yeah, it all clogs up, yeah. It was a really good topical joke, given that they're rats. Right. Brilliant. Yep. Hopefully not races on the audience, certainly races on the booth. <laughs> and if hopefully not races on YouTube as well. Don't forget to leave a dislike if you got the reference first time round. <laughs> feel like we should just go completely off in tangents like man. popular rap based movie Ben <laughs> the theme tune done by Michael Jackson <laughs> oh dear me oh well Chunt has got him in an armbar is JBG going to talk arm bar. Look unfortunately at... the ref has shown us what he had for dinner <laughs> alright straight up the arse of the ref there <laughs> hard cam locked and loaded after the Single punishment bowel, the ref right at the ref <laughs> indeed after the push punishment the refs have been taken <laughs> uh, they decided to dish out their own <laughs> yep JBG tagging Foxomania back in oh look at that go on the crowd a little bit of a moonwalk there from uh, JBG doing it for Yorkshire don't put him in the ring. <laughs> oh, the count out start again. Yeah, he might be going for the count out. We've seen it. We've seen it end the match already tonight, haven't we? The old count out we have, victory. Yeah. He's, he's already the five count. Yeah, yeah. Oh, could it? Could it go the way the Antis went? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> We still have a match in our hands. Is there any rats in Yorkshire? I don't think famous rats. And not giant ones like they've got in New York. And that documentary, Joker. It was on recently. I think you missed a chance to say a joke there against your most hated Yorkshire celebrity. I don't hate oh. any Yorkshire celebrities. Lovely combination yeah, you just say, just Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, yeah. Just Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, here we go. You can't be dropping this. that name here, Ansi. Boof, yes. Yeah, don't. You don't You're going to have to do a bit of moderation here. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure he is rightly the most hated, but it's best to just not even mention the cunt, is it? Oh, there you go, I swore. <laughs> so, hate <Never> speech. <laughs> Sorry, you two. I mean, it's not very often you need to use that word, but there you go. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, the ref! JBG incensed by seeing what he had for dinner. Should have very nearly power bombs him onto the ref. <laughs> yeah, he power bombs him onto the ref's dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he 
Linus Finney with a move there. Devastating maneuver. Going for the pin. Chunter will be in to protect. But a slow count due to that head injury. He still gone. gets it. Unbelievable. Holy shit. YPA done over by a natural one turner. <laughs> yeah, the fucking rats. Look at that pin. <laughs> the contempt. The you could tell they won last week because uh, they, they looked like a team that's not short on confidence. Absolutely, yeah. Was, the fucking rats are right back on top of things, aren't they? Was that a canned line you had that you were going to say no matter who the winner was? Who, me? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, all the man's straight off the cuff. <laughs> there you go. Good match here. Career in Tat is going to be wondering about that Bean Manor mortgage payment. You've got to be thinking that how long, how many more losses can they pick up before they're not welcome at Bean Manor? That's a very good point. And you've got to wonder how many more watches of, of the fucking rats got to win to get a shot at the titles. A cock and ball torture. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's. Dave! Dave! Everybody pick a Dave! Dave! <laughs> Versus Rick Reckless, the EAB champ. Not for the title, but it is extreme rules. These guys are going to give it everything they've got. And I mean, it's hard to pick a side because they're two of the biggest fan favourites in the GFW. Absolutely, yeah. Rick, of course, Blood Bowl Jesus, nicest guy in Blood Bowl. Um, streams Dave to hundreds of people him. all the time. Uh, Dave is called Dave, <laughs> and that's a, that's as compelling an argument as you can get. <laughs> yep. it, it truly is. <laughs> I think if it was called like a Gary or a Stephen or anything like that, it wouldn't work. But thankfully, the stars aligned, and Dave is called Dave. <laughs> Allowed out of the dungeon for one match. He's got one tooth as well. He does have something for him. <laughs> and a lovely colour, just like a big, big boiled egg. <laughs> yeah, he, is, he is one of the few people in the GFW almost as white as Fall Falls. <laughs> this is a pretty metal entrance, so I respect the fuck out of it. Yeah, it's a pretty good entrance. Yeah. Thank you that. Let, let's be honest as well, the Dave chant is probably as powerful if not more so than the Yes movement. Yeah, that's a good point. Very right good. Back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it bizarrely sits Dave quite well, doesn't it? It's amazing as well because the more win W's the Dave picks up, the less he looks like a gimp in your granny's cupboard. And the Mori looks like a real contender. <laughs> yeah. But he may have his work cut out from tonight because here is Blood Bowl Jesus, Rick Reckless. He's in the final of the sea sale on Friday. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Reminds me I've been waiting to watch Pulp Fiction again. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> Dave's sleeping. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, God. I love Blood Bowl. Oh, yeah. Glorious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flip me, guys. <laughs> Dave, straight to it. <laughs> Beautiful suplex. <laughs> Maybe, Cookie, you know, we'll we, we, you know, who knows? You can't call it, can you? <laughs> Well, look at this. Oh, Rick bounces Rick. off Dave. 
The stinger splash. Dave's just taken Rick to pound it's town. Really? Is. Yeah. A couple of counters from, from Rick has slowed down the offense a little bit. But he is. Dave! Oh! <laughs> Headlocked in a stiff punch and a couple of stomps. Oh, Rick no selling here. Straight back up. Sends oh, him oh, out. Oh. Yeets him over the ropes. <laughs> yeah. Yeet! Oh, elbow. And, and Byron Saxton is shook. <laughs> We've got a massive audience for JFW tonight. Yeah, we do. Yeah, huge audience. Huge audience. Strength to strength after a retired Gorilla Mezzo. <laughs> JFW going nowhere. And also, I've, I was, I've been impressed with the humility and all. A lot of people, if I mean, if, if it was me who'd retired Skiramezzo, then I would be talking about it week on week. Just matter of fact, you're just like, okay, well, you know, it happened. Yeah, every now and again. Every now very, and again. Yeah, well, very here's the thing. Here's the thing of that. And I'll be honest with you here, Table Leg. You know, I extended the oh. olive branch of friendship to him. You know, squashed the beef. He told me to fuck off. And his last <laughs> fucking, one, one of his last words on the mic. And... Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, what can you say? Holy what, what can you say? I've just been impressed with the humility. Most seagulls I know are chip stealing bastards. <laughs> oh, I'm a chip stealing bastard too, you know. I've got... <laughs> yeah. The apple never truly falls too far from. <laughs> it absolutely does not, you know. Chicks to feed at home, keep the bird happy. <laughs> the I feel you. And in the midst of all that, yeah, Rick just gave a punishing bat shot to the unprotected head. Of Dave! Dave! <laughs> and let's be honest, Mr. Nice there going for the weapons first. Yeah, he did. Really showing that, showing that dirty underbelly of, of, of what, what he's really about. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, getting a sneak peek there. And of course, we've got a tweet here from Mr. J5. Wanger is doing great and Elk Meme is doing the best that he can. <laughs> I appreciate the support, J5, but I've barely turned up today. Half asleep. Not good enough. Not good well, enough for the fans. Record, record breaking numbers of viewers today. It's just not good 52. enough, you know. I apologize. 52, flip me, guys. Woo! <laughs> uh, and thank you, thanks everybody for your kind comments. That's love. You are lovely people. Oh, yeah. 52,000 people in the arena. <laughs> That could be up to 52 marble. Yeah. The sold out Claw Arena in Charlotte. Didn't even have to play dinner. I shouldn't say that again. No, you shouldn't. I'm always um, reluctant to say um, the state in which this, uh, this event is taking place due to Justin Roberts announcing it every week when Kenny Omega comes out. Right. Do you know how he announces it? I've got no. no idea. Every week he announces like some facts about Kenny Omega, and he's he'll say something, and then he'll the, he makes a reference f for whatever reason about it, and then he'll just scream that, like that those two words. Right. North Carolina. And I can't, I could not do it justice. <laughs> well, there you go. In the midst of all that. Dave hit Rick with a big Dave slam but on the outside of the ring so no pin possible I mean this is going to be a marathon this isn't a sprint these these guys are just no sale from Rick these guys are just going to uh, take some wearing down I think they both came to play yeah so not that not that exactly yeah it's not that big a drawback that it was outside because at least he's done the damage exactly yeah it all takes a toll yep I don't think there's going to be much of a breather for either of these guys. You know, a hammer and tongs are done. Absolutely. Oof. Oh, is my internet fucked? Dumps him on that bat. Sends him back in the ring. This is not false count anywhere, so, he, you know, the bin has to come in the ring. Oh, God. Rick's going up top. Hey. <laughs> look at the distance. They're almost a course to course, really, when you look. Yeah, incredible. Impressive jump from Blood Bowl Jesus. 
Absolutely. Going for another weapon. Wow. It looks like there's a body under the ring, but no, it's Dave. Sh <laughs> Rick <laughs> fighting with himself. Should I use the kendo stick? Shouldn't I? Exactly. But my viewers are watching, but maybe they're not. <laughs> yeah, Rick, Rick absolutely conflicted. He's showing his true self. <laughs> his true murderous self. Some people say Rick's got some heads in his freezer. If you all remember the late nineties where it was where it was uh very popular to have what would WWJD, what would Jesus do? Arm wristbands for the faithful. What would Blood Bowl Jesus do? Well, you saw he didn't even know himself. <laughs> yeah. oh, Showboating there. Yeah, I love a bit of, no one no one showboats as well as PTK of course, but Rick doing of course. his best. Yeah. Oh boy, he's got a table out here. Got a table now. <laughs> Leather's in. Oh, and Rick is he's ready to do the flip me on the outside. This could be very painful indeed. Oh, no, it's just a pile driver oh, on the outside. Oh, bust him open with it. Oof. Savage. Oh, yeah. I'm more flexing, more taunting. <laughs> Love it. Oh, boy, this is looking bad for Dave. Desperation here. Just windmilling in. <laughs> Look at that, incredible. 96 feet of concrete, absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> Plants him straight away. The crowd really getting into this one. Yeah, oh God, look at it. You can see the blood behind the mask on... Steve's face. Rick gets him back in. Could Dave be picking up the winner of his career here? This is this is impressive so far from Dave. Oh, I've got like it. Oh boy, but this is the crucifix power bomb. Oh god, that is huge. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dave looks in some pain. Yeah, I think and I that's think. It. I think yeah, that knocked that. him out. I think I think he's, uh, he's, yeah. his head hit the bounced off the canvas there. That was yeah, not you good. Could, you could tell the way he held his he head up there. It was uh, it wasn't good for Dave. Dave, Dave. Dave. <laughs> look at this. Nice guy, Rick, offering the hand. <laughs> and Dave says, "Fuck you." Dave. His hand away. Dave says, "See through it." He says, "You just pile drive me in a ninety-six feet of concrete." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he saw straight through that bullshit, that claw pointing <laughs> tails dwarf coach. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Dave rightly says, flip you, Rick. <laughs> flip flipping you. Well, there you go. What a show that was. Um, thank you very much, Table Leg. Very welcome. That show flew over. What a, what a roller coaster. It is, didn't it? Yeah. It did, yeah. Thank you very much, Elton. You're welcome. I apologise to the fans again. Didn't turn up my A-game today, but <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.